ISO Working Group on Mismanagement. He was also a chairman of the Federation of the Asia Pacific and African Risk Management Organizations. He has served five terms as a president of the Risk and Insurance Management Association of Singapore and conducted training seminars for uh, senior corporate executives in the region and has acted as consultants to some leading banks and insurance companies. Um, Dr. Yi is actually a former associate professor at NTU, who's now since then retired. So without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Yi. process and so on and so forth. Okay. Although when I received the CDF like uh, brochures, I took a quick glance of it, I look at the amount, the payout, then the next thing I threw into the business. <laughs> okay. Because uh, to me, I want a payout, money payout at least more than 10,000 a month. So I look at the figures. <laughs> <laughs> I check around now my plan up, I should for it. Just, just, just sharing. Because why I need so much? Because I also want to do other things like building schools in different countries. Okay, I think when you retire, you want to do something that right, you can afford to. Okay, so if the CDF life is right, okay, right, for most of us, okay, but for those who want to do more, I think that is insufficient. Right? And about two weeks ago, I saw this newspaper, right? Probably all of you have seen it. The headlines of Singapore low in global pension index. Okay, out of 11 countries, we are eight. That means we are most at the bottom. Okay, Singapore is number one in a lot of things, but uh, sad to say that this is low. Right. And, uh, my own journey started about five years ago in retirement planning. I said, as a professor in NTU, I'm pretty comfortable. Right. A, lot of us, a lot of people say, wow, well, you don't work one. One day, only about six hours of lectures. Like <laughs> right. 42 days and a week. And as a tenure professor, every five years I can go for eight months of sabbatical leave. Right? Plus, carry forward our previous year, 84 days annual leave. Right? Can you take the months, one year off every five years? Right? So, as before that, I was in a private sector, right? managing title of an insurance and research companies. So, I went to try NGO because I was starting a business school, was asked to help to set up. So original plan was for two years. Right, it turned out to be 20 years. <laughs> so a lot of things we plan and then now. First few years late, people keep asking you why don't you come back. After a few years they forget about you. So my plan was I'm quite happy to retire as a professor. Okay, at 65. Right, but I said five years ago I was detected of cancer. Okay, and uh, you know there are different stages. Right, mine is stage four. So the doctor gave me six months to live. I still have two young children. Okay? So I start to rethink. Is that what I want? Then you may read in the papers over recent years, uh, a lot of professors with a contract not renew that kind of thing. Right? But for me, I'm more fortunate. I'm not quite called tenure star. So, so far longer term contract. I ask myself, so what? Tenure means I can work until 65. So what happened after 65? And based on the expected lifespan, it's like 85. So after I retired as a professor at 65, I still got 22 long years ago. Right? And also, like I said, when I got my cancer, I got tired any time. Right? So to me, all the previous planning all go haywire. So I start to rethink what I want to do. Right? So that is my, where I come from. 
do some sharing. Hopefully, they benefit some of you, they benefit one of you, I think my mission is accomplished for today. So for the rest of you, you want to just talk about CPF life story. Right? Is it okay? Okay. Um, let them make this work. Okay, are you ready for retirement? Maybe some of you look sleepy and like this, maybe uh, on the Especially when we retire. 